I'm John Rubenstein, and I play Grandpa Joe in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Grandpa Joe is Charlie Bucket's paternal grandfather. For some unspoken reason, he, his wife Josephine, and Charlie's maternal grandparents, some four and a half decades ago, decided to stay in bed and never get up. He wants to be in bed for 45 years. I, I, I wouldn't enjoy that quite as much, although there are some days when that seems particularly appealing to me. I don't walk on stage. I ride on stage in a bed, so I feel very comfortable. When Charlie gets his golden ticket and when he is called upon to take Charlie to the chocolate factory, uh, he finally gets out of bed. I don't do much makeup. I put a little bit of red on my nose and cheeks to just look like I'm, I don't know, like I had a little wine or something. And, you know, I emphasize the hollow in my cheeks. It's the wig that does it. You'll see. The, the wig is the thing. In the very, very early week when we started rehearsal, and that's when you have your costume fittings and your makeup discussions and wig fittings, because they each wig, of course, is custom made and they measure your skull and all that stuff. I was sort of on the tack of saying, hey, what if I don't wear a wig? Because I basically hate wearing wigs. I've done it several times and it makes you hot and it's a pain in the butt. Let me grow my hair and I can, you know, mess it up and make it look weird. And they said, no, we'd rather do the wig so we can control the look, blah, blah, blah. And I said, oh, okay, fine. The first day they stuck that wig on me, I said, thank you. You've done my entire acting for me. There's nothing more I need to do. When they stick that wig on me, I become Grandpa Joe. And it's 15 minutes, 15 minutes till the top of Act 1. 15 minutes, please, 15. <laughs> if I have a tip for anybody playing Grandpa Joe in the future, well, it depends on their physical well-being. Man, do I give my poor knees a workout. So I would say, look into the cortisone shots or the entire knee replacements before you begin rehearsals. At my old age, to fly into New York and get to do eight shows a week of a big Broadway musical that makes people scream and yell with delight is such an honor. And it makes me not proud, it makes me humble. And uh, I feel extremely lucky. The last thing I think before I uh, go out to start the show is just don't fall down the stairs on the way down. Man, does it hurt. <laughs>